So for these solar panels, some of them will come installed with a bracket on the side, but mine didn't. So if you can see, it's completely flat through and through. I ended up buying Renogy mounting brackets. So right here, you'll see they'll attach right onto the side, adding some height so that way you can put in some bolts and you can reverse it either side, depending on however your setup is. But that's what I'll be doing next, is it'll just be an install on both of these panels. All right, so we're on top of the van and there's all these solar panels that we're actually taking off because they're the flex ones, not the rigid ones. And the gist of it is <clears throat> the new ones I got are gonna be more wattage. These are all installed on, different bolts here, bolts, screws, some of it they use adhesive, but I'm now just gonna take these off bit by bit and then install the next ones. So inside the van here, you can see there are now exposed holes all over from where the previous solar panels were. So we're just gonna go up there, clean them up, and then use some JV weld and uh, basically just seal them back up, make sure they're all watertight. I will say in here, I'm going to just put some duct tape on the bottom side of this just to give it some type of backing, but really that's just the gist of it. Just want to show you what it looks like on the inside and then we'll pop upstairs and show you uh, what it looks like up there. So as you can see, it's very dirty up here. Um, you know, there's residue, rain, water, dirt, all that kind of stuff to the point where even if I step, you can see new footprints. That's what I'm going to be cleaning is just cleaning this off before I put the JB weld. It does mention that it wants it to be pretty clean or fairly clean, but all I'm doing is just really covering up a lot of these holes. So I'm going to have to, you know, uh, wipe around there, maybe scrape some of the rust off, but just really smoothing it out. All right, so now I've covered all the holes with JB Weld. I'm just gonna go over it again, but as you can see, they're just covering all the holes. Put on an extra thick layer to just make sure that it would cover inside the holes and around. But really, all this was just to keep out the water, obviously. And then soon after, we'll be going and installing the solar panels on top here. I'm just gonna probably clean it over again, make sure this all sits through, give it a couple water tests, and then from there, I'll install the solar panels. All right, so as you can see, both the solar panels are up here on top of the van now, and I'm just about to start the drilling and install of this van, but I wanted to go over kind of the thought process before. So first, this one is actually where, this is gonna be installed exactly where it's at. I left space up here, just in case I wanted to add another solar panel or a fan. So there's roughly tw like 28 to 32 inches from over there where that line is to the end of here. So whether I want it to be a solar panel or a fan, I can still fit it there. The second thing I wanna go over as far as the planning goes for how I'm gonna install it, if you see, or it's a little dark, but there's a hole right here and it's on this ridge. This one, there's a gap underneath here. I'm only going to be installing these at the four corners. The thought process why is when I install it up here or drill a hole, the water will naturally run off from these ridges and go into these, um, these channels. And I just didn't want to risk drilling a hole, adding support for it to still leak. Even with all the lap seal I'm going to use, it just seemed to make more sense to put up in these four corners. And these panels really don't weigh that much, so I'm confident that the four screws will hold those down. But that's what I'm just going to be doing next, marking these holes, drilling them, installing it, and then putting on the lap sealant.
All right, so I got a couple more things done here and it's been about 24, 48 hours since I last took a video. So right, all the install happened here. I did add this box here, which I'll show you. And I connected the lines for the two solar panels to connect together. It rained yesterday, which is why I waited a full 24 hours and also to let the sealant kind of stay in place. But it rained and everything passed the water check here. So same with these ones still. They're installed in the higher part. There was no water down there. There was a couple of the holes that were here from the previous solar panels. And the JB Weld did perfectly fine. Did awesome, sealed it all up so there's no leak there. And then just added a bunch of the lap sealant here, the self-leveling one. And there's been no water leakage there either. So that was a really easy way to just be able to install the solar panels and then feed the wire through the bottom. So the next thing I'm gonna do here is I actually didn't finish the insulation on the ceiling yet because I was waiting to install the fan back there and then also the solar panel. But basically halfway through the van, the ceiling is already done. So I'm gonna just do that off camera. 